What is going on guys? It's Wiz with another Outriders World Slayer video for you guys. If you are a Pyro main, what we're going to talk about should bring you joy because Pyromancer it is powerful. There are so much damage you can do right now. You can do millions of damage and as you can see in that little clip I just showed you, 16 million, 15 million, that is easy to do and that is on a consistent basis. But my build, it is very basic. It is with the old a carry set. If you optimize this build, you'll be able to do like hundreds, like 400, 300, so many hundreds of millions of damage. It is insane. So without further ado, let me show you what we are using as far as the armor and weapons. And I'm going to show you some of the pieces that you need to get into the build to be able to do those damage that we talked about. So first of all, the weapons. You're going to need a weapon that has armor pierce and status power. Armor pierce is the most important. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we're using the armor pierce to, for resistance piercing. So let me show you the stat sheet real quick. Now in the stat sheet, in my stat sheet, you see I have only 31% armor pierce and then our resistance pierce is about 46%. Now let me show you the skill tree and our class tree and you can see some of the best mods you have to choose. Now the first one is on top right here, hot situation. So whenever you use your immobilized skill, you increase your anomaly power by 45%. This is going to combine with our armor piercing for when you go and use this right here. It says you and you activate your ignite skills, increase your armor piercing by 45% and resistance piercing by 45% for 10 seconds. So a lot of things are going to combine together to give us some of the big damage. Now, if you look at my skill tree right now, I used to just run the middle tree because this is what I was used to and it was doing really good until I saw this Nick2 professional YouTuber guy. He's using his skill tree where he goes all the way up there and then he explains why it goes there and then this is mainly for hot situation and some of the other stuff right there. And mainly it's an anomaly build so you want to build anomaly as much as possible so you go into the bottom a little bit and then you get a lot of stuff from your ascension that you can check right here and then put some more here and then you need to put some more armor pierce in your bill and the cooldown is also important but we'll talk about all this in a few seconds now when it comes to the weapon the weapon that you want to use to do this big damage like i said you need the armor pierce and you also need status power but the mods that you need to use on this to take advantage of your anomaly power is the one in the middle called Mage's Rage. This is a tier 3 mods that you can find. I have a video showing you how you can get all the new mods. You can check it out and you can just go chase this mods. It is very good because it says critical shots grant a 10% anomaly power bonus for 15 seconds. This stacks up for four time. So this is very important. Now let me show you why. Now. If we take a look at my end game sheet and you can see the double gun, it did 4 million damage by itself. And that's because it's got those mods on there and it allows it to do all this damage. So that's why it is important. And you can see some of the mods on there are playing a very important role, which is why it is very important. Now the other gun, you don't have to have the same armor pierce and status in them. You just need a gun that you can use to kill ads as easy as possible. So you can switch to it as you want, but this is really doesn't matter. Now, as you can see, I have fortress on that. If you have your primary gun with fortress, that would be a lot better. And as you can see this gun right here, the third mod is kind of may so you don't really need that so if you were able to get fortress on that gun it would be a lot better but unfortunately rng is not on our side yet so we get what we get now as far as your little pistol just use whatever now let's go to the armor and as you can see i am using the old carry set so it is very basic and i don't have the full potential of the build but if you start getting those uh, other armors like the apocalypse armor like this one right here, even though I have this one, I have to upgrade it before I can use it. In the video that I see, I was using the regular Ikari set, 
with just basic Ikari mods. But if you start using the new Apocalypse one, that's when you're going to be in the upper 400 millions of damage with one hit with your phaser beam, which we'll talk about in a second. And in any case, so I'm using Fire Tsunami and I'm also using the Ashen Champions. Ashen Champions is a very, very good mod, especially when you are using phaser beam, which we'll talk about in a second. I don't want to read the whole thing. It is good. Just make sure you put it in there. And then for the chest piece, we are using Burnt Out. We add that on there because it's already got Tidal Wave. But imagine if we are able to use those again. I'm going to continue to say that to show you that with the basic, you can still do millions of damage. So we're using that. And then for this one right here, Anomaly Echo and size matters now you can switch size matters for something else but size matters make phaser beam a lot better so i would suggest you keep it on there for your build now for the glove i am using this legendary hands of the reforged but that's not what you need what you actually need is a blue one that comes with three mods on apocalypse one and then that would come with unstoppable force or no resistance against the fortify that's what you would need but unfortunately, I'm not lucky yet. I'll be on the lookout for that. So I'm using this one. I'm using the two mods that makes this build works magic. So Unstoppable Force to increase your anomaly power by 50% of your resistance piercing. We already talked about resistance piercing in the beginning. And then it has also no resistance against the Fortify, which I add. You need this mod to make this build work to get those billions or millions of damage. So it says it increase your resistance piercing by 100% of your armor piercing value. That's why those two work together. So you need to make sure you get those two on your build so you can make this work. Again, power simulation is just there because that's what it comes with. But ideally, like I said, you need a blue one that you can just combine those mods together. They don't have to be in the same piece of armor. As long as you have those two mods in the build, you will be good to go. If you don't believe me, just go look at Nick 2 video and you can see that he can do 400 millions of damage, but I'm not there yet. So make sure you remember those two mods because they make this work. Now for my boots, I'm using an epic one. It only comes with two mods. So ideally you want one with three mods. So I'm using this and I add self medication on there and it came with damage absorber. So that's what we have. But you can find something better and use it, but you want self-medication in your build. And any build that you're making nowadays, you need to make sure you get self-medication. This is by far the most broken <laughs> mod in the game right now, because with this mod, it is nearly impossible to die because I'm, I don't think it is working the way it's supposed to, like everybody's saying that. So I hope they don't nerf it, but I'm pretty sure they're going to. But for now, use it while it is still not nerfed. Now, guys, to get those gazillions of damage, I'm going to show you some mods that you need to add to your build that will take you to the top level. Now, if we go inside the crafting table and go to mod, let's go to the tier three mods. And if you, we are looking for death sentence, death sentence will synergize really well with Ash Blast. So you get weapon damage, you also get anomaly damage and the increase in percentage is very high. So that's why you need to use that. Now, another mod you can use for the tier three is Captain Hunter. If you have Captain Hunters, you got a 16% damage to elite. It used to be more, but that's what it is now. So we'll get what we can. And if we go to the tier three tab, there is also Ashen Boost. That also works very well with Ash Blast which is what we are using. And then another one that you need to pay attention to if you can find this is Bullet Kindling. It deals 12% more damage against enemy afflicted by burn. Since we are using our heat wave a lot, then when you add all those together, that's how you'll be able to get all those gazillions of damage that you need. Now, another one that you can use that you will find, let me show you on my character real quick from this hat. This helmet right here is arms and anomaly. It says critical shots increase your anomaly power by 8,784 for six seconds. Now, this is based on 
your level your power your gear power but that's why it says 8000 but that will do more damage when you are at the highest level now before we go any further the way you use this to do those gazillions of damage is basically you're gonna apply all your heat wave then you're gonna apply your action boost whenever you see a big enemy then you're gonna shoot your weapons with the armor piercing the status power and also the mage's rage and you get some critical shots you make sure you get some critical shots and then you proceed to use your phaser beam which is going to give you those big gazillions of damage that you need so that's the way you will use the cycle the rotation to get those big damage so that's all we got for the all the armors now let's go to the skills as i already mentioned we're going to use heat wave we're going to use phaser beam which is going to give us these millions of damage that we talked about and we are going to use ash blast as I mentioned earlier, the mobilized skills is going to synergize with the build to give you those damage that you need. So phaser beam is your main damage dealer that's going to give you those big damage. As you can see right now, it shows that I have 437,972 damage, but that's because I am only average 50 level gear. So once you are in the 70s, this will come into millions even though i am not at the high level yet but i'm still hitting millions for my level so you need to make sure you use that now let's go to the class tree now for the class tree i already talked about this just take a copy of this use it the way it is this is good that's what you need and then you got the ascension again i already talked about this so you want to make sure you have a lot of anomaly so max this out and you, you can also max this out. That way you make sure you have some good cooldown. And you also need some armor piercing. As much as you can put in there. That was going to help you with those big damage. Anything else is just whatever. And then for the packs. What we are using right here. We're taking this on the bottom. All those. Going to synergize with the bill that's why we are using those the more points you get you start putting them in where you think they make sense and you should be good to go but for now we don't have that many points so that's where we at anyway guys that's all i wanted to talk about if you are a pyromancer you need to try this and continue to grind so you can get all the better pieces and you will do wonder for your enjoyment anyway thank you for watching i will see you guys later